an impressive presentation of lovely evidences. Hold on to your hats, gentlemen, bonnets, ladies. Hold on. Is this all there is? <laughs> this is my stamp. Oh, yes. I wasn't letting him keep this. It's lovely. It contains every date there ever was. You don't believe me? Mm. August 27, 1883. Here, that's the date Mount Purbawatan explodes in Krakatoa. 36,000 people perish under the ash. January 25, 1971. Oh, oh, January 25, 1971. Helen Shattuck is walking her dog in Dayton, Ohio, when a frozen block of urine from the laboratory of a Pan Am jet falls, hits her on the head, killing her instantly. <laughs> The overnight slot is strictly for those books not overdue. Yeah, but we check anyway. That was my job, to check. Now and then you'd find a book a day or two overdue, sometimes a week. Once a book is returned in the slot, mind you, three months overdue. But we got over it. <laughs> so we weren't amused. And neither was the violator when he saw the fine. Oh. <laughs> one morning, one fine and miserable and typical morning, nothing to give an inkling of what was to come, I found this book in the pile. We'll label it evidence number one. It is a Baydecker's travel guide in deplorable condition. Well, I was just about to give the card to stamp with the old stamper, when my eyes suddenly sprang out of my head and rolled about on the floor <laughs> and underneath the table. And why? Because I saw that this book was checked out in 1873 and no, no, never returned till it was returned. Yes. 113 years overdue! If you have a book 113 years overdue, you go to the counter, you admit your lapse, you pay the 